In May 1957, Atlas No. 1 was trucked from the Convair plant in San Diego to Cape Canaveral, Florida, where it was prepared on its launch pad. On June 11th, the missile was committed to flight. Less than a minute after liftoff, one of the two booster engines failed, resulting in uncontrollable gyrations. The first Atlas was terminated in a huge fireball. Atlas number two suffered a similar fate. On the third attempt in December 1957, the test atlas soared downrange without a glitch. It was a complete success, but it was only the first step. Development and testing continued at full speed, racing to meet the Air Force operational deadline of the end of the decade. The clock was running down. In September 1959, at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, a strategic Air Command missile crew launched an Atlas for the first time. The Air Force announced that the ICBM had reached operational status. They neglected to add that the total ICBM arsenal consisted of just one armed and fueled Atlas. But soon it would be joined by dozens of others. The skill and determination of Trevor Gardner, Bernard Schriever, and Simon Ramo to create an ICBM in record time stands as one of the crowning achievements of American technology and engineering. For five years, Atlas served as a sobering expression of this country's nuclear deterrent.